YouTube. Um, today is day three of my recovery. If you include the day that I got surgery is day one, which I do because I got it in the morning. Um, so, um, the pain's gone down a lot. I don't have as much pain in the middle of my chest today. Uh, although I do have a lot of pain in my back, and I think that has to do with, like, sleeping up and, like, slouching and the binding, the binding like, kind of hunching me over. Uh, I'm trying to sit straight when I can. Um, I've also gotten, like, really itchy, especially, like, up here where the gauze, like, which is underneath the ace, where this, like, sticks to your body. And, uh, it's so itchy. Um, I've been taking Benadryl for that. Um, there's also, like, spots on my back that get really itchy that I can't scratch, and so Christian has to help me with that, uh, because I can't reach. <laughs> um, today I feel, like, especially drugged, though. I don't know why. Um, I feel, I just feel like the Vicodin is hitting me, like, extra hard today. Um... I'm still having a hard time peeing, which means the anesthesia is still in my system. From my understanding, um, anesthesia stays in, like, your kidneys the longest. Um, that's what someone explained to me on Facebook, but then again, I'm also, like, on, like, two Vicodins, like, every four hours, so... I may not, like, I don't think my reading comprehension skills are so great right now. <laughs> um, but, um, so yeah, Christian drained out my grenades this morning. Um, they're not, like, they don't look like solid paint anymore. They look like water with red food dye in it now, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, they're not as dark, uh, and they're more water. It's, the liquid's not as dark, and it's more watery. Um, I haven't had to dump it, like, it, they said to dump it when it gets to be, like, halfway, but they get kind of heavy and, like, annoying and irritating, so I, I generally, like, try to bug Christian about dumping it when it's about a quarter full instead, and it doesn't really, like, it doesn't fill up that quickly at all. Um, I don't have to dump, I dump them, like, I, I think on the first day I dumped them twice, because the first time the nurse did it to show Christian, and then... Uh, and then after that, we've only been dumping it, like, once, I think. Um, but, oh, last night I got the most sleep that I've gotten since surgery. But I think, like, my body's gotten used to having to take pills every four hours, and so, like, like I will wake up every four hours or maybe every three and a half hours, um, like, whenever I'm, when, no matter how long I've been sleeping, um, so, yeah, and I and I think it's just because my like bio, my circadian rhythms have gotten used to having to take pills. Um, trying to think. Uh, oh, um, if if you're like me and you get depressed from not being able to go outside and not being able to like see the sun and stuff, um, something that's helped me at least is like keeping doors and windows open so you can get fresh air. Um, so, like, I don't know if you can see. This is going to take me a while because I don't have that much strength. So, yeah, like, the sliding glass door is tinted. And so we turned it, uh, or we opened it to let some sunlight in, and that's helped me a lot. Um, I probably shouldn't be doing this. Uh, um, oh, yeah, I'm still constipated. But that's just because, you know, like I just said, surgery and I'm on painkillers and that leaves you constipated. Um, oh, okay, so the first time I was put on, uh, on, on, um, on Vicodin, uh, it was because I had ovarian cysts. Um, and the doctor explained to me that it was a dissociative at the time. Um, and I, and I know this just because I tend to, like, absorb information that people tell me, um. That's not true, I guess. Um, or maybe I just misunderstood what he meant. Uh, 
so yeah, uh, uh, Vicodin is hydrocodone and, and, and Tylenol put together pretty much. Um, so the f five milligrams of hydrocodone and 500 milligrams of Tylenol into one pill makes m one of my, one of my Vicodin. So like, so I'm taking two of those every four hours. So that's 10 milligrams of, uh, hydrocodone and a thousand milligrams of Tylenol or APAP. Um, uh... Or acetaminophen. I don't. I don't know how to say that, but um, that's what someone told me on on my blog at least. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of like keeping morale up, uh, I haven't showered yet. Doctor Garamoni said I could shower, but I'm also really clumsy and like I. And I tend to be really wobbly, and I have really terrible balance, and so I don't trust myself trying to get out of the bathtub without being able to use my arms, you know? Um, but I have been, like, wa like wetting my hair and washing my face and brushing my teeth, and that's been helping me a lot um, to feel, like, less gross. Um, and, yeah, I just take it day by day, otherwise, like, Otherwise, it seems, like, overwhelming, like, having to be cooped up in a room for five more days, you know? Um, thanks, Christian. Uh, and also, Christian, like, super appreciates all the love that you all have been giving him. Uh, a couple people on my blog were like, oh, my gosh, Christian's so hot. And he's like, thanks. Uh, <laughs> Ow, that hurts. Don't make me laugh. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, we're super appreciative of your support. Um, if there's anything that you want me to like, keep an eye out for, I'll do my best, or I'll tell Christian to keep an eye out for it since he's not as like intoxicated as I am. Um, but yeah, uh, okay. Um, wait, let me find the stop button. All right, <laughs> bye everyone. <laughs>